Good morning, Peace Academy. Today is the 40th day of school, Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. I'm Kaden. And I'm Leighton. Let's take it to Brianna for today's weather report. Thanks, guys. Today's high will be 84 degrees. The skies will be sunny. Daily winds are moving southeast at 14 miles per hour. Tonight's snow will be 56 degrees. Sunset will be at 7.28 p.m. The moon phase today will be waxing gibbous. It's about 230,000 miles, 230, miles away from Midland and about 80% visible. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Under the, Under the Texas, Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Hey, Leighton, what are today's birthdays? Zania Br Berry. Happy birthday! What's on the menu for today? Crispy or soft chicken tacos, nachos fun lunch, cilantro lime rice, corn pineapple salsa, fresh cauliflower florets, mandarin oranges, low fat or chocolate milk. According to nationaltoday.com, today is October 4th is National Simnum Roll Day. A, wa a warm buttery bun with sugar, honey, and cinnamon sweet treats are made of these, and who are we to, to disagree? Now on National Seminole Day, day held annual on October 4th, you can include yourself, everybody, everyone loves Seminoles, and everyone has their special favorites. This day was first celebrated 19 years ago and swelled in the love for this day is just as sweet. All over the country, people bake and enjoy their various types of symbols on this day. Whether you buy them or bake them, on National Cinnamon Roll Day, let the sweet times roll. Happy National Cinnamon Roll Day! And now it's time to take it to Eddie Corner. For this day on history. Yesterday we had an author, an author Dr. Rajani La Roca, read her book to the first grade classes. Here is the interview with Mia and Christian. We had an author come here to Peace and read a book to the first graders. This is... Hi, I'm Rajani LaRocca. Um, I came and re read I'll Go and Come Back, my picture book, to the first grade class here. It was really fun. Um, what kind of books do you write? So I write uh, novels for middle grade readers, so uh, ages 8 to 13. I have three of those. And then I also write picture books. I have six of those out so far. So... Um, what are your other jobs? Do you have any other jobs you do or 
Yeah, so I am a doctor. Uh, I'm an internal medicine doctor. I practice at Mass General Hospital in Boston. And I came back to writing about 11 years ago. Uh, why did you become an author? So it's very interesting. Um, about 11 years ago, I thought about how I could go back to being creative, and I started taking writing classes. And a couple of years after that, I thought maybe I want to be published. And um, the reason I write for children is that the books that made the biggest difference to me in my life were the books that I read when I was a kid. And why, why is the horse, why was the horse's name Mike? And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the horse's name is Mike, but I think that's um, from the Wells Fargo people who helped um, bring uh, me as an author to Midland. Yeah, so it was really lovely to meet lots of people in this community. Is this, your, is this your first trip out to Texas? This is not my first trip out to Texas, but uh, it's my first trip to Midland. Um, I have cousins who grew up in Houston, so we went to Houston a bunch of times, which I realize is very far away. I didn't know that before I came here. And I was just in uh, Fort Worth um, in April for the Texas Library Association meeting. That was really fun. Yeah, Texas is really fun. It's also huge and very different. I mean, like, different parts of it are different from each other, so it's really neat. And, and why did you become a doctor? Like Why did I become a doctor? I was obsessed with medicine from a very young age. I read this book called Ouch, all about cuts and other hurts when I was a little kid, and it showed all the things that happen in your body when you get, like, a minor injury, like a little cut or a scrape. And I thought that was so cool, and I thought if this is... If I'm this interested in this, maybe I should keep studying it. So I knew pretty early on that I wanted to go into medicine, and um, it's been wonderful. I really enjoyed being a doctor because it's not only about the science, which is really cool, but um, I love being with people. I love uh, talking to them and uh, helping them to stay healthy or helping them to feel better when they're sick. And what is, what is one message, message that you want to give to all the students that are watching? Oh, that is a great question. Okay, so here's the thing. We are all telling stories all the time about each other and about ourselves. I know this from my work as a doctor. So I want to tell all your students that your story matters. by Mila and Elijah. Have a great day and tune in tomorrow for another edition of Cyber Tiger News. Have, Have a tigerific day! day. Woo!